Hello! In today's video, we are going to see how heat is conducted through a heat pipe. With me here are two copper rods. They look very similar. However, there's a secret to them. So let's see how they're different by looking at the video here. We are going to test them by putting them into a cup of hot water. So while running the video, you can see. We have a hot water here and we're going to put the two copper rod inside. And then we wait. Do you see any differences? If you do, you must be Superman with X-ray vision. Actually, Superman cannot tell you the difference because X-ray vision cannot see temperature changes. Instead, in this case, you have to be a predator with thermal vision that can see temperature. Luckily, in this case, you don't have to be either. Why? Because we have here with me an infrared camera that can serve the purpose. So let's see the process in an infrared camera and tell the difference. So let me run this movie. This movie is run in real time. So you can see the temperature. Uh, the hot cup of water right now is about 70 something degrees Celsius. And you notice that there are steam coming out from the hot water. While we're waiting, you will start to see differences between the two rods. And obviously you will see the one on the left hand side is getting hotter and hotter while the right hand side doesn't change too much. So why is this the case? In order to explain this, we have to see how heat is being conducted. So in the normal conductor, heat is actually conducted through the solid. So the speed of conduction will depend on the thermal conductivity of the solid. Let's take a copper pipe in this case and see what happens when we apply a heat to it. So when the heat is applied, the atoms inside the copper pipe we start to vibrate like this. So the vibration is going to conduct the heat. Uh, this conduction is relatively slowly and the heat will go one by one through the atoms and then get to the end of the pipe. That's how a regular conductor works. What about a heat pipe? The secret in here is that it is a conductor but there is something inside, typically a liquid inside. And in our case in here, we have copper pipe and with it, there's a small amount of water inside. So what makes a difference now? When you apply a heat to the heat pipe, the liquid will absorb the heat and then evaporate into vapor. The vapor can actually travel very quickly to the other end of the heat pipe where it is cold. Then, the vapor will condense and then releases the heat at the other end. So as a result, you can actually get very fast conduction and you can also transfer a lot more thermal energy through this. And the other good thing is that this is passive, meaning that there is no energy use. So let's go back to our experiment and see what is the difference between the two rods the one on the left hand side is actually a heat pipe, so it heat conducts faster. The one on the right is just a copper tube. We can actually find heat pipe in many applications. So for example, in computers, when you want to transfer the heat, there are these heat pipes. I want to show you how the inside of the heat pipe looks like. Uh, it's just hollow with a little bit of water, which we cannot see. Other places that have heat pipe, for example, have uh, heat exchanges for building applications, for example, where you want heat, fast heat transfer. Uh, you will also see heat pipe in evacuated tube solar collectors, for example. There are many applications to that. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about heat pipe. Stay tuned for more videos on energy. Bye-bye.